lately, scam stories are becoming more and more common, something our next guest knows all too well. Jen McAdam lost nearly eight and a half thousand pounds to the OneCoin cryptocurrency pyramid scheme. Sadly, her friends and her family also got involved and they just lost huge amounts of money between them all. But they're not alone, Chelsea. No, no. It's alleged that OneCoin has conned over £3.2 billion pounds out of people from around the world. And Jen joins us now to tell her story. Jen, I mean... You know, we hear all these amazing stories. I've made this much on crypto. I've made that much on crypto. You want to get in. You need to get in now before it's too late. I mean, did you hear all these stories and thought, yeah, I need to get into this? Oh, yeah, that, that, that's what the promotion was. That, that was the tagline. You've missed out on Bitcoin. Here's a chance to get in early, be in a, an early adoptive stage. And, um, yeah, and... and one coin was going to be, Ruja said, one coin was going to be the number one cryptocurrency because it was growing so fast and momentum around the world. And, uh, you know, so we definitely thought that was going to be the case. Can I just ask quickly where you heard of uh, one coin? It was my best friend introduced me. Someone introduced her and then she introduced me. Um, she knew that I had a certain amount of money that was my late father's. He'd left me when he passed. Um, and I was looking for somewhere safe to put that. Um, I previously had I took ill with ME, so I, I was ill in bed bound for a number of years and lost all my life savings. Don't work, you tuck into your life savings. And uh, I didn't want to do that with my dad's money, I wanted to put it somewhere safe. Um, he lived till he was 92, he was a working class uh, man, he was a coal miner. He didn't drink, didn't smoke and he was just happy that he could leave this amount for for his family and um and i invested the money into one coin there's so much emotion involved oh, in it for you as well isn't every it? time i speak about oh, it, no, it I just, yeah well i think it's important um, and you're the victim in this but we yeah. kind of meet the key players in this story this awful story one of them is ruha ignatova and yeah. when people at home might be going why did you buy into this when we knew yeah. so little about it mm. When you watch this little bit of video at home, you'll see this woman is very, very convincing. She is the public yeah, face so. behind this yeah. particular Bitcoin. Have a look at this. It looks professional. It's big. Sure it's, it's jazzy. I, you well, know, you will get bought in, and it's public as well. Yeah. You think, no way it can be a scam. She's so public. Yeah. Tell us about her and her role in the story here. Well, where she's speaking there, that she stood in Wembley in London to an audience of 3,000. That's where she's speaking in stage there. That was in the summer of 2016. I invested in February of 2016. And you're invited on straight away to a webinar where you see her in the front cover of Forbes magazine, on financial, the front cover of Financial IT magazine. She was also, for me, what ticked the box as being a businesswoman previously before I took ill, was that she stood at the European Economic Summit giving a speech to uh, banking dignitaries. And, and for me, that ticked a box. And it, it just felt surreal. She, she um, studied at Oxford University. She had a PhD in law. So, uh, she was all, just... all the due diligence here is very public. <laughs> yes. How can there be a problem? <laughs> well, um, the... I, I, sorry, I, I'm, so you um, even got your friends and family to invest in Yes. This. That's how sure yeah, you were no, of this woman. She's was like, so convincing. So convincing, and I was so ecstatic. Me and my best friend, we'd both invested. You go out, you meet your friends, you go for lunch. What have you been up to this week? Oh, wait, I tell you, you know, I invested in, in this. Oh, like to know about that. And before you know it, it, it's, it grew, this grew like wildfire. How much did your friends and family invest in? The t our, our total loss, including mine, is over 250,000. 250,000 pounds? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. I can, it's, it's still hurting you really bad, and mm. understandably so. But look, you know, she was very, very convincing. And oh, she was she very, was. very public, and she was saying all the right things to the right people. Yes. So you're not alone. As you tried to do something about your situation, you uncovered an awful lot more. Yes, unfortunately. Tell us I about did. It. Well, um, just now, um, the US FBI um, have made an announcement that she's placed in the USA top 10 most wanted. But they also said um, that 
she is one coin in Rouge is connected to an Eastern European criminal network. But I realised that when I realised it was a scam in 2017. So I mean, this is this this is a nightmare. This 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 is like a living hell that you can't get out of. We've just got to point out that she hasn't actually been arrested or or charged with anything as of yet. She's been charged in absentia, so she's on the run at the moment. Um, she's been charged with various uh, wire fraud and money laundering and things like that. Yeah. Okay. And how did you feel when you realised that you know you, you weren't going to get your money back? Oh, it's devastating. I, I still can't really put it into words. It, it took the legs from me when I realised it was a fraud. Um, I'll never forget that moment. My legs went to jelly and just just went and I fell to the floor. Um, it, it, yeah, it's and, and also a big part of it for victims caught up in this is the regret and guilt that they have and they carry and the shame. But something good has come of this. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, well, I've been advocating for, for victims, justice for victims, and I started a, a victim support group. We have over now 10,000 victims. And so, in working to expose this further, um, and what happened was an opportunity came along to write the book. I had so much, I had to release, let like self healing. And from that, writing the book, um, MGM have acquired the rights of the, the book for a movie. Wow. A movie? And yes. That is the greatest way to get the message out yes. there, isn't it? Yes. It really I is. just thought th there's not going to be another opportunity like this oh to raise God. awareness for yeah. the victims especially. Oh, my God. And word. there's someone been tipped quite special to play you. Can you give us any, t can you give us any little inclination who that <laughs> might be? Yes, well, um, we don't know if it's going to be the case at the moment, the way things have worked out with COVID and stuff, but um, it's still up in the air. C Kate Winslet was to play the role of yes, a I Jen. But yeah. we, we don't know if that's going to happen at the moment. But, but you, um, you've yeah. met her and you've told her your story. And yeah, she was she, really moved by it, right? She's so beautiful inside and out. She came to my house to visit, and that's a memory that I'll never forget. And she brought amazing empathy and understanding. She really is a beautiful soul. Um, yeah, it's a moment I'll cherish forever. You know, I know you know this uh, because we've seen the video, we've seen all the, the different reports about this. Um, it was an easy one to be drawn into, oh, particularly yeah, in a world we didn't know, a we still don't know a huge amount about. Yeah. Um, what message would you have to people out there thinking of investing in cryptocurrency? We had questions this morning, didn't we, to Martin Phillips about, yeah. you know? Don't be careful unless you understand blockchain technology and cryptocurrency. And, and if you don't have any knowledge, do not invest in this because what you think may look like sugar is, could be salt. And, and you know, it, victims have lost everything. Their life savings, their remortgaged houses. I speak to victims worldwide who are suicidal and, 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 and it's continuous. So be careful. Don't invest if you do not understand anything about it. It was, would be my advice. I know you're not going to get your money back, but you can take some solace that you might be stopping that to other people and you're helping people. Yeah. So yeah, that's fine. thank you yeah. on behalf of all those thank people you, for Jen. that. And thanks thank for your you. bravery coming on today. Thank Good you. luck with everything. Thank, thank you. you. I can see the Kate Winslet thing, by the way, yeah. can't you? Yeah. yeah. It's just so <laughs> obvious now. So. Thanks so much. Such yeah. a charmer. <laughs> <laughs>